Hello, uh, and welcome to our skid steer hydrostatic drive training program. So we're going to look at a little vehicle like this. Uh, we've got three sections. Uh, we'll start with the simple section, which is really designed for school children, just to engage, engage them in an interest in hydraulics. It takes them through what uh, the various controls do. So we've got boom and arm extend. We've got a slew, and we've got track drive for right and left so the idea is just to drive through these line of boxes without actually uh, banging into them get a score for all those all you hit you should get through with uh, out hitting any but it's really just to understand get an understanding of what the different controls are doing the controls we use hydraulics for uh, then we go through really to look at how these are all working so what we've got here again is our arm or boom extend, our slew and our track drive. So this is a closed circuit hydrostatic drive system so what we can do now is operate the levers as we did before but this time we're seeing our electrical signal change proportional to the position of the lever. Um, we've then got the valves that will move and the swash plate angle changes which changes the speed of our and direction of our motor so we've got some nice visualization of the components we look at the um, load sensing system as well uh, for a directional control slew and proportional pilot pressure control proportional boom extend so as a various different circuits gives them a nice introduction and helps you understand what's going on you can spend quite a bit of time just operating to see what happens uh, what we've also got on here are some highlights to show some contamination entry points, the uh, risk areas within the circuit, the areas you'll be looking at for maintenance purposes. And we've got another little exercise where you drag and drop the icons to the right place to get a score. Uh, as we go through, we've got quite a range of different uh, highlights looking at various aspects within the circuit, so we can either collect them, uh, get to them through the drop down or through the forward and reverse arrows. Um, once we've finished with that section, we then move on to the circuit. So now we're looking at trying to understand the components within the circuit. Uh, what they do is you move your mouse over, you actually get an instruction for what the valves are doing. And again, we've got another little exercise, so you have to find the uh, pressure control devices or flow control. So we've got all the filtration elements, so we've got various little exercises. Uh, we then uh, allow you to build the circuit. So there's a little uh, exercise to build the circuit, see so you can build it the quickest. A little bit of competition within the classroom. Um, and we move on to maintenance, so we show the maintenance issues, we show the uh, another little exercise to highlight and say what you would do to get the right point, so you drag your looking regular maintenance will be just to look at the uh, clogging indicator on the filter so we have to drag these on to score points uh, make sure you understand what's happening uh, more involved plan maintenance and commissioning instructions so we go through uh, what you'd need to do to set the equipment up but finally a nice little exercise is we've got some diagnostics so we've got a problem which is uh, we're getting some clunky noise when we change direction it's not very smooth um, if we remove the various instrumentation over the circuit so we'll be looking and listening and hearing a clunking noise coming from our flushing valve uh, we then need to drag the other equipment around check temperatures check pressures or contamination levels to see what actually might be causing that and once you identify the faults will show up once you identify them uh, you can record your answers now there's an awful lot going on here so there is a lot of help provided on the website uh, and within a lesson plan so you can have instructions to go through uh, your objectives of each lesson and expected outcomes and the exercises you should do so um, you can spend quite a bit of time within this whole program uh, working things through but there's lots of help and videos on the website so uh, please enjoy